What is going on, peasants? My name is JB, and I'm back here today for yet another story time video here on the channel. So, uh, I was DMing my buddy Austin uh, the other day, and he's like, yo, I'm going to be in Oklahoma City. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I've been there once, and hey, <laughs> you know what? Something really funny happened to me in Oklahoma City. Uh, and then I told him a story, and he's like, yo, you absolutely have to upload that. So, here I am. Uh, so this is the story of my 24th birthday. Now you might be looking at me and be like, oh, that was probably like last year. He's, you know, pretty young guy, maybe 25 now. No, sadly, that was four years ago in 2016. I just got my first AARP uh, membership offer and hey, man, it only goes up from here. You know, like your age only goes up from here. Like, do I need to explain that joke? Probably, probably not. Ho hopefully I don't. Anyway, uh, so for my 24th birthday, uh, I was, you know, we, we, ha we had a little bit of, a little bit of money to throw around. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna flex, but I, I, I had a little bit of I had a little bit of spending cash that I could just do something stupid with. So I'm like, hmm, what's something I've never done? I've, I've I've been a huge basketball fan my whole life. I've never been to an NBA game. Let me just go ahead and see uh, when the Thunder are playing anyone interesting coming up. And then I you know I checked their schedule and it turns out they're playing the Golden State Warriors on my birthday. I'm like, hmm, that's a pretty cool game. Me and some friends should go to that game. Uh, and it was legitimately on my birthday in 2016, and it was funnily enough, it was this game. Yeah, so the highlight, yeah, <laughs> it was that game. So we were actually there for that, which was wild. And I've, I've been a Steph Curry fan for way before that, because I'll, I'll have a screenshot there. Uh, if I remember that, you know, I've been a fan of Steph Curry since before he was an all-star. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not a bandwagoner, but I was a little bit ahead of the curve. Whatever. I, I, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> we got to see uh, the Golden State Warriors and the Oklahoma City Thunder uh, play that game. It was me and three of the homies, uh, my buddy Landon, his brother Lincoln, and our other friend Austin. Not the same Austin, but another dude named Austin. Like, people just be naming their kids after cities in Texas because why? I don't know, dude. It doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway. So we, we uh, get to Oklahoma City, and first off, we go to this Airbnb, and this is just a, it, it's it's a nice neighborhood-ish. Uh, it, it's, you know, like, in the, like, imagine suburbs, it's that. <laughs> but it was like a townhouse, so uh, we thought we were getting, like, the entire, like, townhouse. No, we were getting, like, one, like, eighth of, like, it wasn't, like, a duplex, it was, like, it was an eighth, it was, like, one-fourth of a duplex. But it was like more than a duplex there were four houses and we got one fourth of it. We thought we were renting the whole house, but when we saw it, it made sense. And we're like, well, shit, we, you know, kind of, you know, we'll just take our L on that one. It's, you know, still got three beds. No, it, it, had, it had two beds and a couch and a really shitty couch. So I lucked out um, because I, I was I managed to get one of the beds. Um, yeah, we it, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so I, I get one of the beds. That's cool. That doesn't really matter. Uh, so we sleep. Oh, no, we actually went to the game the first night. Yeah, we, we parked at a... Um... Okay, so <laughs> if you if you know anything about big cities, parking is the worst. Like, uh, so I had a friend who uh, lived in Oklahoma, near Oklahoma City, and he'd been to a few Thunder games. He's like, yo, pro tip, park at the Bass Pro Shops. It's like half a mile away. You can just park there for free. You don't have to pay, and you can just walk over. You can stop through Brick City, which I think is... I'm pretty sure it's called Brick City, and you can eat. Like, there's, a, there's just attractions. There's all sorts of stuff. There's... People playing shitty guitars for, you know, coins, like, it's just for tips and whatever. And then there's this fucking people breakdancing, which was actually pretty fucking cool. Like, they were, like, having, like, you, you know the scenes in, like, movies and shit where uh, people are just, like, breakdancing and, like, someone will go and then someone else will go? Like, it was that. It was fucking cool. Um, so we, we watched that for a little bit and we, we hit up a Sonic. Like, it was an indoor Sonic, which is the weirdest fucking experience ever. It's, like... No one's on roller skates, first off. Why the fuck is no one on roller skates out of Sonic? You know, whatever. I don't even do that anymore, but, like, an indoor Sonic just feels wrong, dude. First off, Sonic sucks, but, like, it was either that or a sit-down restaurant, and it was, like, an hour before the game, and we didn't want to sit down and eat, so we just ate Sonic, and it sucked um, because Sonic sucks. Sorry, this is not the point of the story. So we, so we eat Sonic, we head over to the game, and uh, the game was cool. Uh, again, it was, you know, that game where Steph Curry made that that shot. Uh, which is just wild, but uh, after after the fact, we uh, the game's over and we make our way back to uh, Bass Pro Shops and where we were parked. First off, okay, rewind. Um, so just in a random February afternoon in a city 
like six hours from away from where I live. Uh, I'm like, we, we were walking around just exploring Best Pro Shops for a little bit because we all had to like piss and stuff and we just, I don't know, wanted to, we had time to blow. So we just looked around for a little bit. And I'm like, I looked over my buddy Landon. I'm like, you know what? Because I've been on many a road trip with Landon and it always seems like every time we go just way out of state, which I live in Arkansas, every time we go somewhere out of state, we always like run into someone we know who isn't on the trip with us. And I'm like, you know what? I have a feeling if we're going to run into someone we know that isn't here with us, it's going to be here. And I fucking kid you not, less than fucking 10 minutes later, our, a, a, just a dude we both went to high school with just like walks up. It's like, hey, what the heck are you guys doing here? And we're, we're here to see the games. Like, oh, I'm here for like Boy Scouts or something. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck he was there, but he, he was there and I fucking called it. And I'm like, I don't I don't know how that always happens. Like every time I go out of state, I always see someone I know who I'm not on the trip with. And it is what it is. But. You know, dude, like at some point it's just, yeah, I don't know, dude. At some point it's just, it's just weird. Anyway, after the game, fast forward back to that. We, uh, like, yo, we're pretty hungry. Uh, oh shit. Sonic's closed. Thank God. Uh, so we don't have to eat there again, but, uh, Austin's like, yo, I think I saw an IHOP on the way to the arena. It's like across from Bass Pro Shops. And like, this guy gets it. IHOP. IHOP is never a bad decision, especially like midnight. Dude, that's like the perfect, that's like prime IHOP territory. Territory, territory. That's like prime IHOP like experiences that point in night. Maybe a little bit later to get more drunk people, but we got we got we got our hefty amount of drunk people there. So we we get to IHOP and first off, waitress, very attractive. Like, don't even need to like that's just the end of that story. Very attractive waitress. End of that story. So <clears throat> we're just sitting there getting our food and uh, we hear these loud people walk in. This is just a bunch of chicks laughing. Uh, really late in the in the at night, and we're just like, oh, drunk chicks, cool. And, and it's just an entire bridesmaids party, just just an entire bridesmaid party. Uh, they just they're laughing, they're having a great time, they're drunk as fuck. Probably one of them got roofied, and she's like, you know, a little bit less laughing. She's it's like hasn't hit her yet. She only like drink half of the roofie or whatever. I don't know how drugs work. I've never been to a fucking bar, um, <laughs> or a club or anything like. That. I, I'm I'm a I'm a boring ass person, but. They are very clearly inebriated, and that's the point of the story. So they're just, you know, chilling. They're like on the, they're like two tables down from us. They're, they're having the time of their lives. Um, one of them was like, oh my God, I'm getting married. That sort of thing. Like when she walked in and said hi to us for whatever reason, like who says hi to people you're sharing a fucking restaurant with? That's, that's just weird in and of itself, but like drunk chicks. So it's passable. And then, um, a couple minutes later, you know, we're just still chilling. They start, uh, the, the waiting staff just starts moving a bunch of tables together. I'm like, oh, shit, another party? Uh, are they also going to be drunk? No, they, they weren't drunk. So I don't know how to mentally prepare you guys to say, like, I, I don't I don't know how to tell you guys what walked in to this, this IHOP at 1 a.m. at this point in Oklahoma City. I, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm just going to explain it by telling you what it is. An award winning, they had fucking trophies. They just won. I don't think they were, I think it was, it wasn't, they didn't win first place. It was like, a, it was like, a, you could tell there was like a bigger trophy that like, you know, they're compensating for like by giving them like the middle trophy. Like they had like the middle trophy. You could just tell like there's a bigger trophy than that. That was the same design and also had like silver on it. So I just assume like they, they didn't fucking win, whatever. Still an award winning Italian bodybuilding team. I'm not fucking kidding. Just an entire Italian bodybuilding team. Just fucking just a bunch of jacked Italian dudes. And they're like they're just saying like Guido and shit. I don't I don't know what. Like they 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 weren't like actually like they they didn't speak English. They weren't like stereotypical at all. They're just jacked dudes who happen to be Italian. They're wearing like matching track suits and shit. I'm like dude, we are definitely getting fucking stabbed if they're not like if they're not like the gangster Italians and they weren't. They were like the the high class Italians and their like manager was ordering all their food and they were like ordering. <laughs> they, I think, like, dude, first off, everyone at that table could kick my ass, like obviously. Even their fucking team like manager, who was the only person there who spoke English, who was a female, and she she could also kick my ass. Um, <laughs> and she was just like a normal woman. Uh, she could kick my ass. So they're all ordering like just tons of food, uh, just steaks, fucking chicken. Like, no, 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 like, we want hamburgers, but no bun, no bun. Like, they're all fucking gluten-free, basically. So they're, they're ordering, like, healthy shit. Like, why, why the fuck are you going to an IHOP to order healthy shit? Just, like, you just won the fucking 
second place trophy so just have some fucking pancakes celebrate like i mean i guess you know maybe they don't want to celebrate because they're they they need to like get in better shape so they can fucking win next time goddamn losers um please don't kick my ass <laughs> but uh so yeah they uh, get their food and like we're just like it's about 2 a.m at this point we're just chilling like you know what? we should probably head out and then my dickhead friends because reminder at this point it's no longer my birthday but it was my birthday that like that trip was based around so of course i get up to piss and when i get back of, of fucking course my dickhead friends were like hey it's this dude's birthday you guys you guys should sing happy birthday to our waitress and um the drunk chicks got in on it like Woo, it's his birthday <laughs> congrats and the italians got in on it and they're like hey they just started clapping they didn't really know what was happening they just they just like clapped along so like some of them were like da, 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 da. some of them like understood it but didn't know like how to didn't know like the words i guess i don't know but they, they, they knew what was going on so yeah that's the story of how an italian bodybuilding team sang me happy birthday fucking top that my name's jb and i'm out